Welcome to Life by Design. During the last edition of the, the show, we, we, we asked a provocative question, and, and I want to start again to the show with that question. Day. We just start the year, brand new year, 2015. In spite of Ebola, we all get big and bright hopes. But if I would ask a lot of people the question, how you think, say, 2015 go tan like for you? People will answer several ways, but I can bet you that one answer will go common. And all the answers people can give, whether not free tongue or any other part of the country, that for making people say, well, man not go able for no better. You not go able for no old thing. Now God no more know how the year go go. And I make some money, they tell you, say, well, how the year they turn? Well, I don't know what in the year go bring come for it. They're expecting the year for bring something come for them rather than then prepare for what they want inside the year. So that's why we promise you, we said, we would take the next session editions of Life by Design for go through Practically talk to people them we don't make planning part of their life and see the results they wouldn't get in their life and find out whether their results they've been go happen whether they don't even go plan at all. This and much more in today's edition of Life by Design. I'm Joe Abbas Bangura. Companies and organizations that were successful are partly successful because of several things that I'll go for this now. First of all, at the beginning of every year, then they agree on the goals they would want to achieve. Number two, then they identify the activities they would have supposed to pursue for make sure they achieve their goals. Then they. Number three, then they effectively implement their activities. Then they. Number four, then get way for monitor their results against things they would have been planned, their actual results against what they plan, and then they take corrective action anytime they see say, the actual results not they go according to what they plan. And the big question one for us. Now, what do you think would happen to the success rate of human beings if human beings be is also meticulously will they take with them for plan with life? And today for discuss this thing, now somebody will not a stranger to planning. He gets a track record of not only planning and executing, but he gets the results them for sure. And me guest today at the show, um, David Kama, managing director of Call to Business. David, welcome to welcome to the program. Thank you very much. David joined this business. Who said you joined? You said you joined the company. 2012 November. November 2012. When David joined the company, the total number of clients in our company now been 3,200. By the time we do this broadcast, almost the um, what's the total client? Um, the outreach. 8,700. 8,700 from 3,200. When you become the total portfolio, we've been there at the company have been 3.2 billion euros. What's in the portfolio don't go now? 10.1 billion. 10.1 billion. The portfolio at least, portfolio at least, the one key indicator whether they take for measure um, whether the business they do well, then call on the portfolio in health, whether the portfolio healthy. When you've been calm, you've been made the portfolio at risk, the, the, the ratio has been 19%. Now, waiting at, waiting at the ratio where you bring a candle before Ebola, before Ebola change, what did you bring it down to? 4.5. 4.5 from 19%. Now, the higher the, higher the, the, the percentage be, the, the, the riskier the business be. And so it take them from 19 grand count to 4.5 before Ebola shake them again small. And um, talk about revenues, the revenue where the business may they make. The term we join, that being 150 million. What are the revenue we make um, inside the last month, the last um, financial month before, before this program? Over 400 million. Over 400 million. Now, um, could this happen by accident? How much of waiting happened for move? From 3,200 clients to 8,700, from 3.2 billion in portfolio to over 10 billion, portfolio at least from 19% to 4.5%, and revenues of 150 million euros to 400 million. How much of this is down to just accidents or by chance? And how much of it is, is down to deliberate planning? Definitely, it was deliberate, it was lots of planning. Um, it begets for, you know, take me for align the vision. The vision where the board begets, I mean, I mean, you, Seth, I'm a boss, you know, the CEO. When I come in, it begets for take me for align the vision, which um, we will not beget already. The, the people them are England, align them with waiting, they happen already on the ground. And we able for put things them to, together. We able for chat with future. We able to see who side actually we want to go, and so when we don't put all of them indicators, then they <coughs> say we want for rich yander by social term. 
then we be get for sit down now to yourself and begin ask yourself the question how how we go able for reach yonder how we go able for make sure say we get the number of clients and the how we go able for make sure we raise enough revenue so as we the answer the how question you know it, it, it bring out clearly waiting and waiting them we get to do and then so i will say yes it was not by accident it was deliberate and and we also get forget them because this is going to be a two-part series one one for just focus on how you apply this on uh, in your professional life then one for also look at how you will do the same inside your, your private life but now um you say it's first of all starts with vision you have to have a broad picture of who you want for go yes big picture we all discussed together the the board the chairman in london said you know this is where i would like to be and then you say you go you go about for set goals yes um tell me you you plan i mean cover our horizon almost almost how long how far long into the future you can do that planning three years if you cover three years how easy it is for do a three-year plan with some mango tell you say well you not even know what will happen after six months especially in a commercial environment why does it still make sense to plan for three years um you know um where somebody go tell you say well you not even know what will happen tomorrow it's 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 always good for the medium term then they you can i mean you, some people can do them five years but you want for make sure say looking at the environment where you work with the the variables they're not the side and all the change change better but like we on circumstance so most times best practice you want for do them three years three years you can also break them down into annual work plan and every year you look at like waiting they happen so now we be already began to plan for 2015 but look at ebola ebola came it was the first half of of, of your financial 2014. of 2014. so how, how how would you how would you in fact a question that you get for us now so you had a three-year plan so does it make sense to really plan given that some things that will happen like will like Ebola happen so we you not plan for and say it, it does it seem to make planning hopeless or uh, useless or, or not worth it well i'm not going to say so but um you know especially in business there are times where depending from usa you they start you they move maybe at times from a lost position you want to see sometimes they one year not even enough for make you able for cover you your losses um, sometimes that you need two years for able for break even. So when you they put together your plan, you want also for make sure say it they communicate to ownership and it they communicate to the audience, to the stakeholders them we involved. So you they do them in such a way that it also makes sense. You see who side the organization they go. If you know now after two years it get for begin make profit, then year three now it break even year two, year three begin make profit, then it, it's sensible that you able to communicate that one day to people them so they're able to see a trend rather than maybe you just do a one year and one year it's a loss and it, 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 when you present i mean not able to communicate much that's very interesting already in terms of what you don't begin get let's take this break and we'll come back for come break and down into specific details the history of the struggle is rich with the stories of heroes and heroines some of them leaders some of them followers all of them deserve to be remembered. Hey, 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 hey. Born to a family of illiterate parents and struggled all my life. I remember the days I went to school without lunch several times. I had to walk back from school, a more than seven mile journey. After school, I would join my parents, my mother who was selling um, cooking ingredients in the market. Failed my O levels, I dropped out of school. Then I met with a mentor who made me realize that if you make new and better choices, you could transform your life. Went back to school, took my O level exams, and had a scholarship to go to the United States of America to study leadership and entrepreneurship. I am back, managing director for four businesses, helping young people. In the program I do on television, Life by Design, is to give people hope and tell young men the story of the African child is the same. From nothing, we can be something. Hey, hey. 
welcome back. Repeat again, waiting we say for achieve goals in our life, you have to be deliberate. It not happen by accident. Business is the one, but mortal man hardly do one with the kind intensity where business and they do one. We make sure say business then then get a better chance for succeed and predict their success better than our mortal man than they do one. Keep mortal man able for able for planning self like our business and they plan. And that question you want for us not only for businesses then but for you where they wherever you did they watch and listen to life by design. Can you plan your life as best and as well as business and the planner where they increase the chance for making the ability for predict how you go in life and success and failure. So, Mr. Kama, you said, um, David, you started with a three year plan. Yes. So, why why you need to forget the time period within which you did plan? Um, for several reasons. Certain things, then, you need um, a time frame. Say, for example, um, we will be talk about the number of people and the number of borrowers them who want for targets. Um, Illogical, it, 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 it it only sensible for make you, you, you just give one month, I mean, you're not able to see movement. So you, for, for the sake of movement, you also want to get time frame so you see, you're able to monitor the trend, how things they move. And what you say, as you know, you say, then you come back to goals. You they set your goals. Then what are the goals that we've been set, we've been set inside this three-year plan? Goals then specific things and what you say you want to achieve. And also we don't list some of them things here. So just not. Did it include them five, them four things here? So the the client um, outreach. Just list list what are some of the goals and we definitely set, for we in the microfinance sector. It's about reaching more and more people for provide access to finance for more and more people. So. Outreach, the depth as well as the breadth in, in, in outreach for winner key indicator. So outreach is one. So I mean we want to make sure so we're sustainable. So you get a target of the number of clients and we want for we want to get exactly. that goal. Exactly. And then the next one you say um also we get for be sustainable. For make we continue for do this over and over and for make we con the organization continue for day, you know, over so the next what 50 do you think years. For major sustainability? Now, for able cover, make sure say we get enough money for cover we cost for pay people and salary the people where they can work, and I no one for call and profits because <laughs> we know they take with money and give back to shareholders. Okay. We they actually take with money and able for expand for, more for reinvest back into the business. But it's okay, say so. Number one, now be how many clients you now go get. Number two, now make on able for cover we cover on our cost and run sustainably, and then the portfolio at risk. What's now be your target? The portfolio best practice is five five percent or better, and then um, when you get a healthy portfolio, because now that one day now we own business, it means say you they show signs say you go continue for day in the future. David, there's a rule in goal setting we like to call smart, and for make you goal smart, I want to make we talk about that now because I think it's very important. How for for some of us tell what in a smart mean what in the acronym smart day for, and how has this applied to your goal that we set for the year? I mean, you, you, you just want to make sure say you narrow. SMART is an acronym. You S means say you get for be specific. You goals for be specific. Yes. Whatever you want to achieve, you get for me be very clear about that. Number two, the M means say it need for be measurable. Um, whatever you want to set yourself out for do, you for able for measure them over time. Um, the A means say it get for be... Attainable? It get for be attainable. Um, it, you know, it gets for make sure say you, you can't set out something where you're not able for reach. You're not R, able. The R, the R means say it gets for be realistic. The goal get for be realistic. The goal get for be realistic. And waiting at the T. The T you need for set a time frame. You need for be time bound. So now go to then you they go to the KPIs there, key performance indicators, and then you goals there we said so. Tell me how the clients, how you smart your goal in terms of clients. In the first in the first twelve months, then a year one, yes. we say we need for make sure say we peer when I be nineteen percent. First of all, we need for make sure say it improve it come down to single digit, and that from nineteen percent to nine single, at least nine percent at least nine percent. And then um, although that one day we hit some, we so we it's specific. You specific for say that the portfolio at least now for reduce. Yes. And now you want for specific in terms of how much you want for reduce until exactly nine percent. Nine percent within 
12 months, 12, 12 months, 12 months which is time bound. So yeah. it's smart, it's specific, it's measurable because you can say from 19 to 9. And it's and doable. It's time realistic. bound and it says doable and it's realistic. So, so what what will happen if somebody not making goal smart? Anytime you not do goal, you set a goal, we not meet the requirements and you're not specific, you're not measurable, you're not atti attainable, you're not realistic, and also you're not time bound. What will happen to people and goals then? You can wander off, you know, because. You, you get the main pillar them where you know you, you want to touch certain certain things them where they they get ripple effect all over so the moment you know make them smart it's possible that you can just they go and beat beat around you know to get the effect you know to get the actual effect of it <laughs> so david say so david say you got for make your goal smart you got for make your goal smart specific measurable attainable realistic and so man can say relevant and also, but you get forget time bound. And the interesting thing we go for we for say now, how can this be act, act, be applied in a private life? But like I said, we want to take this first part in this series for look at how you do under the official environment, professional environment, and then we make sure say we are prepared for him for make sure say we succeed inside 2015, deliberate one and not by accident. Take this other break again. Accord to Business is delighted to introduce C to B Print and Publishing Limited. Situated at 20 Old Railway Line, Brookfields. C to B Print and Publishing is an arm of a call to business group of companies with headquarters in London. At C to B Print and Publishing, we deliver the highest quality printing you can find at very competitive prices. Our staff and professional operators have a combined experience exceeding 15 years in the industry with local and international expertise. C2B Print and Publishing offers prompt services with a top quality Heidelberg presses which are of precision German engineering. Contact us now for your full color printing of magazines, posters and flyers, corporate identity stationery, brochures, annual reports, calendars, etc. Call us today on 030-999-911 or 088 999-933 C2B Print and Publishing We meet all your printing needs with a touch of class and excellence Welcome back. We're going to talk about planning your life so that you, you goal stem, your results this year for 2015, it's not going to be by accident. It's going to be by deliberate design because you plan them and it will be by way for and me guest today Nadevin Kama, managing director for a call to business um, when a group of company will include the microfinance business and also now the chairman uh, for the Sierra Leone Association of Microfinance Institutions now Sierra Leone we get over 11 members and um, and you know we came for discuss sometime in the future for how I must impact microfinance they do now the country but now what it says a vision board vision then goals we don't discuss are now in details we want for take time for just one through Quickly, three points. Identify the activities that we for do for achieve these goals. Implement those activities. Monitor those activities and take corrective actions uh, as the time they, as, as as you go along. Can we put all of them for the, them four things a day together, David, and 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 say take your goals then? I don't know. We don't talk about so just now. How you identify the activities, how you implement, and how you monitor the results and and take corrective measures. I will take one. Right. I will tell you, so at the start, the, the planning actually and, and the goal setting is that you do some side and you create a, a future. What side you want for goal? Yes. You, you invent them and, and you start for work a day. And so the, the, the point where you talk about now, now that journey for make we able for reach there. I see. <laughs> so, so, so this first part is just saying I don't want to go. Yes. And you break on those specifics. Yes. And you say now you need for move. You need for journey. move. It's it's some people can call them the zero to one concept. Right. You they move from call them nothing. From and you they move now, now to you want for go. Usa you want for go. So make we take the first one. Look at outreach. We be there three thousand two hundred when I join in, and then um, we say we want for move maybe to, to, to ten thousand. We say for the first year. How much you want for for first year? The first year ten thousand. Fine. Over three years we we'll say thirty thousand. Right. So now, and we only be the operating at four locations across the country. So you you want for see how you be able for for get them figures then they. So we ask ourselves the question: the figures then they we can able for get them within the four areas of operation. Then at the ten thousand. Yes, we say yes, it's possible. 
but you get for consider other variables. Now we no more than other locations there. No, we get other peers and we get competitors. competitors then, yeah. Yes, we can come in and able for do things them fast, but that growth they go slow. So we say, okay, make we go to other locations then. So say for example, we go Kenema. So say for we get branch, they open your branch. Open there. New then branch. in a one activity where you think so go for help you for achieve this your goal. Exactly. Of reaching ten thousand. Of reaching ten thousand. So we expand on the number of branch locations the Musa will operate. And the moment you don't expand, waiting you don't go into new markets them. So you don't get opportunity for raise for able to get clients them from USA you not be the operate at all. So let's talk about this is how you implement let's talk about monitoring. How you they monitor now your results from your plan. You get your goal, you you identify the activities, you implement. Let's talk about monitoring. Monitoring, um, you get different level of monitoring, and for each of them goals, then they some time day you can get sub goals where so you break them down to, and so monitoring can just be one activity. For we we when the monitoring we don't say that ten thousand for year one, then each branch gets in your sub targets where it's supposed for for achieve within the year. <laughs> so the branch you shape shape around by also branch A supposed for for go by this. And uh, and you shape the one in there. Yes, and also when they look at the markets, we get we figures them from st you know statistics statistics Sierra Leone the the websites you know in terms of the population distribution and the activities them. So when we they go inside, apart from we own physical survey what they do, we get the secondary data what they fall back to. And so um, when when we they do we monitoring, we don't shame each branch gets your own target. And we 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 we, we the follow how the branches. What are the tools they wanna they use for monitor? Um, the monitoring can they at field level. Let's talk about the reports then. The reports then first when I they look at for compare um actuals versus um you plan. You don't all, you already you <laughs> tell already, me about, you, tell you, me about the reports. You already, already don't state them. We get some reports they come out every day. Some for just monitor it in the Just happen. monitor some reports they come out every week. Some reports they come out every two weeks. Some reports now every month. So, on a daily basis, certain things that they will they look at. We don't say now this we suppose for do, and we look at today. Now this we do. What will be set we set out for do now we do. So every if, if you the miss her and at the negative way you the miss her. Let's talk about corrective action. When are the final point for make you wrap up from goals from zero to one? You say you call it zero to one concept. If if you if you the miss. Tell me what corrective measures that we go take, like say for your outreach, you know they make your outreach or your profitability, you you, you don't begin to up. I, I was actually the take. At the end of the day, when the reports then come, you, you know, just like how the, the doctor and a lab, you know, or the, the doctor the diagnosing patients, when the reports then come, you the study them, you diagnose them. Do you see if na malaria na tabla malaria for me, malaria <laughs> tablet or panadol or whatever? Exactly. When you able for identify the root cause. I tell you, the first thing in the morning, you know, you they begin for, you know, the one that we involved, you they call them at your attention. Big phone. Exactly. And you don't know what's at the problem, so now you just they follow up and give the instructions. The manager, the line managers, then they, the branch managers, then they. So you want to make sure, say, what's be happen if not be something on we own side, by the time the next day they don't. You know, I foresee that same kind of mistake again. You know, I foresee that same kind of error again. So, by the time you don't do them repeatedly, you don't they continue for do them. That's just on the daily one, and and you're able for take corrective action. So, so you get daily reports, you get weekly reports, on bi-weekly, and on a month. Yes. And each of the reports, and they give a message with the act on for make you take corrective measures. I want to ask you again the question I want to ask you for begin. How much of waiting you, you achieve as a managing director for a big business, the second biggest microfinance business in the country? How much, how much, um, how much of this will happen, the accident, will be just happen without you not being planned? If this was not planned, and you don't follow through all them processes. And, yeah. and, and you not write them, you not document them. <laughs> you not document them. You get and, follow through. and you not follow through. You know, definitely we we, we if even you're not able for measure how you do you sometimes you go they even do bad, you feel say you do well. So um like you know, taking for example like uh, this Ebola, somebody will say, Okay, yes, um, we able for cover because we they move along fine. 
on that front they go tell like say now things are okay but wait till we don't set ourselves out now, for now we compare with now that's what they compare originally with. Yes. where ebola not been there exactly and, and measure them against that i'll ask you fun, final question for today is it possible for make mortal man plan in life as organized one like a company then they do is it reasonable for expect that day? I want for definitely. You it's can, reasonable. It's reasonable to and it's, that. it's also doable. <laughs> it says it's reasonable and it's also doable, and that's what's the question we uh, David get for take on the next edition of, of Life by Design as we talk about planning your life, increasing the predictability for make sure say you came for know whether you will succeed inside 2015 or not. That was David Kamar, Managing Director for a Call to Business and um, under the microfinance business, and he's also the President and Chairman for Sierra Leone Association of Microfinance Institutions. David, thank you for joining me today in the studio. Thank you for having me.